Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on the Sun Data Hatchling, the little Fey Dragon that was introduced in this last mini patch. Um, so over the last few days I've gone ahead and collected all the materials you will need to get through all the barriers and I've put them in the order that I will need them going through. So it starts off with the Major Protection Potion, Nature, Arcane, Shadow, Holy, Frost, and then Noggin Fogger Elixir, Scotty's Lucky Coin, Dire Brew, Ethereal Oil, Gordok Ogre Suit, Winterfall Firewater, Pygmy Oil, Little Prince's Costume, and the Scroll of Intellect, which is the very basic scroll. Now most of these, or probably half of these, are done with an alchemist. Um, I had to go and farm three or four of the recipes. There were, yeah, three recipes. Three I had trouble collecting. One because it was a boss drop, another because it was a really atrocious drop from some Outland mobs. I spent several hours trying to farm it, but I didn't get any anything from it. And the last was from Scenarian Rep, which I don't actually have on my Alchemist. Um, and then the rest, you can either kill easy mobs to get, or this one is going into Die More, collecting the Ogre Suit. This one is collecting from a rare in... Pandaria, and I was able to collect this by using my little remote control from Brewfest, and uh, this one you can actually buy in Dalaran, and the pygmy oils I just happen to have on my alchemist. So the location of this cave is right on the northern tip of Winterspring. As you can see, you can't really see myself on the map because I'm kind of right on the outskirts of the zone. So when you look at the world map you can see I'm right at the tip just there. So let's try this. Okay. So name of the cave is the Caverns of Consumption. I haven't actually tried this so this will be a first for both of us. Okay, so first barrier, you need to use the fire protection potion. And then the fill barrier, you'll need to use the remaining five. Okay, so because um, these potions have a timer on them, I'm going to try and cut down as much as I can. Okay, wow, this is taking quite a long time. As you can see, I've um, applied five of the buffs already, waiting for the last one to come off cooldown. There we go. If you noticed uh, on the potion, it actually says it lasts two minutes, but luckily they've changed that, otherwise we would have had a lot of unhappy campers. This should let me pass through. Yep, it did. And you'll notice there's a diligent watcher in the corner there. Right now we have to use noggin foggers until we turn into a skeleton. There we go. I only took two, that's good. And then take the right path to go towards these vines here, and for this one we need to use Scotty's Lucky Coin to transform us again, allowing to, to pass through. And there's, you can see there's a tiny little water stone that we have to collect. That will give us a water buff that will allow us to pass through this other barrier. Where did I go? 
Oh, I'm at the entrance again. We should just be able to pass through now. Since I have all the buffs until now. Okay, that's good. Trying through here again. What above die brew? Okay, die brew allows you to pass through the stone watcher. And then you follow the path up. Here's where you use the ethereal oil. Okay. Now you'll have to use the ogre suit. Win a fire water to make your arm a little bit bigger. Touch the stone. Okay, you've got your second buff now. And then this one. You'll have to transform into a pygmy, so just keep applying that. Okay, there we go. This is where you summon the Perky Pug. Then apply the costume to it. Okay. Now you have the third buff. Grr. So where the video cut out, I actually was teleported out again. So um, all you have to do is run back in, go through that last gate, and you'll see a little plaque on the right hand side read that before you take off your firewater buff that will allow you to use the intellect scroll once you use the scroll you should be able to jump down into the water some people have said that they've been teleported out i was teleported which is why it's not on the video apparently they've hot fixed that now so you don't have to run around down the ramp and into the water but either way uh, you can loot the odd colored egg at the end of that little pond and that's where your little hatchling will be. Apparently I've looted two so far, two on the same character and there does seem to only be one breed which is BB. Good news for those who do like to collect a particular breed um, but as I said I have collected him twice on this character and I did notice he was BB for both. So there you go. Have you collected yours yet? Yet? Let me know in the comments below. He is, I would say, the nicest looking fey dragon that we've had so far. Definitely love the colours and he almost matches the enchanted fey dragon as well. At least colour wise. Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck collecting yours. Yay!
see this little guy. That is very cute. 